Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 30th. Uh, this week, we are just going to jump right in here and see what is going on for you uh, here, Scorpio. And uh, this looks good. Definitely moving away from some difficult lessons, which is nice. So this could mean things are going to get a lot easier. Uh, all three water signs have had the Two of Swords this week, which is interesting. There you go. Uh, Scorpio, coffee's done. But let's see what is going on for you here, Scorpio. You have this orphan card. So for some of you, you could be feeling left out in the cold. Cancer, I'd like a similar message as well. Uh, this could be in love for sure. I do feel like this reading is asking for patience. Like if you're struggling in love, I do feel like some of you uh, could be struggling in love or you could have um, had some sort of difficulty in love. I'm getting Gemini popping into my head as well. Uh, you don't have any cards here that represent Gemini, Scorpio, but Gemini is popping into my head. So so uh, for some of you, you could be feeling left out in the cold uh, from a Gemini person. could also be a Pisces or a Leo, but um, I feel Gemini energy more strongly, if that makes sense. Uh, I actually want to clarify that. Yeah, you have the building blocks, though. Uh, Cancer had a very similar message. It's almost like, and so did Pisces, actually. Um, but it's like, you, whatever it is that you ha are going through is building you up towards something much greater. So I do like that. You do have this cosmic egg card. Uh, to me, this card kind of reminds me of the world card type energy. It's a card of like completion and like finishing things up or uh, reaching some sort of goal. Uh, to me, I love the world. Uh, to me, the world card is an excellent card. But uh, at the same time, the world card can be a little bit uncomfortable. It can say that you are in the squeeze. Um, you know, it's a card of birth. And it's kind of like saying that you have not been birthed out into the world. When we think about birth, you know, it is considered to be a painful process to some people. Even babies, when they come out, they are crying, right? So uh, again, I'm, I'm making a generalization here, but uh, what I would say is that it can represent going through a period of time that seems painful, but it's like you're actually being born into something uh, truly great here, Scorpio. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Moon here. I feel I, I do feel that for some of you, it's like someone had this plan in a relationship. It's like, I feel like this person came to you with a plan. I feel like they told you all these great things were going to happen in a situation, and things didn't work out. I feel like this person went backwards, and um, I feel like this put you in kind of like a fearful uh, defensive energy. Um, what A very weird message I'm getting here. It's almost like someone told you like all these great things were going to happen. I'm, I've never noticed this before, but there are bricks up here on the three of pentacles. And I feel like those, I, I feel, <laughs> I feel like this person is like, I feel like this is you, Scorpio. I feel like this person here is like coming to you with a plan. They're like, they like said, hey, this is what we're gonna, is going to happen in this relationship. I feel like maybe you feel it was a bunch of false promises. I feel like they tried to build the roof of a relationship first. They didn't like start from the foundation foundation, if that makes sense. And I feel that in a lot of ways, maybe you didn't see that at first, of course, because like who does, right? And I feel like this put you in a very hurt position um, because it's like they just tried to, you know, sell you a bunch of, you know, false goods or they tried to tell you all these great things were going to happen and they didn't happen. So I feel like this kind of put you in this seven of wands type of state. But I feel like you need to realize that you yourself have built up this understanding of kind of like what you do want in a relationship. You have the moon now, which is saying that I feel like you are like willing to go down this path on the moon card. And it's like saying that you're willing to maybe face your fears and you're maybe willing to open up and allow love into your life. But I do feel like there are still some fears there. You have this uh, knight of wands. So I do feel for some of you, it's like you're willing and ready to go on the adventure. The Knight of Wands has a lot of desire, and that's a word that's popping into my head for you, Scorpio. I feel like you have a lot of desire for love at this time, but you have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Strength card. I feel like you're just wondering, like, do you have the energy to allow someone into your life here, is what I'd say to you. I feel like saying boiled frog as well. I see something boiling in my head as well, Scorpio. 
And if you don't know the story about boiling frogs, and, and again, this is not re really boiling frogs, but I'm just saying it's like a saying, boiling frogs. If you put frogs in water and you know you start with cold water and then you warm it up, they don't realize that the water is boiling. And I feel like that could have happened or um, that could be your fear. Your fear could be that you kind of like get into a relationship. Maybe you fear letting your guard down and then all of a sudden it's like you're boiling. You know, all of a sudden things in the relationship are boiling. That's what's popping into my head, weird message, but I feel like that could be the fear here. Uh, for others, I feel like you are just kind of like trying to decide, um, you know, what is, I feel like you are being strong at this time with the strength card. And even the eight of cups, you know, it's like he, he is being strong on this card because he is choosing to walk away from those eight cups. So I feel for some of you, uh, you are the one that is choosing to walk away from something here. You have the seven of pentacles in the strength card. Um, like I said, I feel like you're being patient. Seven of pentacles is realizing that something isn't worth it or something isn't worth your time. And the strength card could be even people seeing you as very strong. I always say, to me, the strength card is a display of strength. It's not just a card of patience. It's not just a card of determination. It also says that you, you yourself are very strong at this time. Uh, next, we have the dolphin energy. Now, this card of like being in two minds is what's popping into my head. And you have the two of swords here as well. So I feel like you kind of are looking at things from two different sides here and you're trying to juggle it's an I, I don't think you're trying to juggle something i feel like you're trying to make a decision with this two of swords you have the two of swords five of wands and five of swords it's almost like you know that you need to make a choice you know you need to make a decision all three water signs have the two of swords this week um pretty crazy but I feel like you know that you need to um, make a choice here. And I feel like you're just conflicted about the choice that you need to make with that five of wands. For some of you, it could be to walk away from a situation with the five of swords. For others, I feel like it's it could literally be you turning your back on something. It could be something major as well. It could be like maybe family or a friend um, who is just too negative or something like that with the eight of cups. So I feel that for some of you. For others, I feel like you're trying to make a, like, like a more minor decision what's what is what's popping into my head you could be like trying to decide if you want to travel at this time with covid and everything like that um again i would you know be safe I, like i always tell people like there's no reason to take unnecessary risk i do feel like some of you could be having a hard time making a decision I almost feel like pressure as well. It's like maybe your family wants you to travel, um, but maybe you don't want to, you know, because of obvious reasons, right? So I feel like you need to listen to yourself is what I'd say here. And I feel like you need to make a decision for yourself. Like, yes, it's the holiday season and all this other stuff, but it's like, is you know, is it necessary to not protect yourself with the seven of wands? Is it necessary uh, to take an unnecessary risk? I would say no. So, you know, I feel like you need to make decisions for yourself. I feel like some of you could be fearing a decision as well. Um, two sevens to me is internal fears that don't exist with the five of wands. It's like you're conflicted about making a choice. But let's, I want to clarify this. And um, I'm actually probably going to pull an extra row for you, Scorpio, just to see kind of like what's going on here. Uh, but between the Three of Pentacles and Eight of Cups, you have the Page of Cups. Uh, again, this is like a past love offer that you could be walking away from or a past person in love. I feel like maybe they kind of like slipped away or maybe you feel like someone is, is slipping away here um, with that Page of Cups. Uh, between the Seven of Wands and the Seven, or the Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles here. And I feel like you're going to make sure in the future to get into situations that are balanced. Um, Six of Pentacles is a card of equal give and take. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you're only going to be accepting situations where there's equal give and take. I'm getting something about everything you touch turns to gold on this Page of Cups as well, Scorpio. So I feel for some of you, it's like this is a new person that could be coming in for you. I feel like either everything they touch turns to gold or I just feel that maybe the situations that you have are gold with this person. So I feel like this could be new love coming in for you. And I, like, I feel like it'll be just a breath of fresh air. That's what I mean by everything you touch turns to gold. Or maybe you meet this person and things start really going well. I mean, you know, I feel like for some of you, um, like literally the words that are popping into my head is maybe you realize that in certain past relationships, it's like you'd be in the relationship and your life would start going downhill. I feel like this is the total opposite. So um, I like the direction this is going in. It's like a new relationship coming in for you that makes your life go up. For others, this doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could be a business relationship, a friendship, you know, something like that. Uh, between the moon and the strength card, you have the Ten of Wands. I, I'm getting loss of work or feeling lo loss of work here. The Ten of Wands is like saying, I did all this work. I, I carried 
all these burdens here on my back, but and now I'm not going to be rewarded. I get this feeling of feeling like you have thrown something away or feeling like something is being thrown away here, Scorpio. I don't think that's true at all. So some of you could be fearing walking away from a relationship situation. Maybe you're afraid that it's like throwing away the situation or maybe you feel like you would be... Um, you know, losing something. I actually feel like you'd be gaining something with this 10 of wands. You'd be you know, getting like a monkey off your back <laughs> is, what, is what's popping into my head. Uh, between the eight of cups and the two of swords, yeah, you have the lovers, definitely new love. Uh, lovers to me is like new love. I feel like walking away from whatever this past situation is will lead to new love. Again, Cancer had a very similar message. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, I would check that out. I'm also, like I said at the beginning of the reading, I said Gemini. I have Gemini right here. So it definitely could be a Gemini that you've been dealing with. But I feel like this is like, I almost feel like the bottom is your current situation, the, the main part of the reading. I feel like these clarifiers are your future. I feel like there's new love coming in for you. Uh, between the uh, Seven of Pentacles and Five of Wands, Devil, Again, avoid toxic energy. Again, I, I would be careful of traveling at this time as well, Scorpio. Again, I wouldn't force, if you don't feel right, I feel like you really, um, I said that earlier. I feel like you really need to trust your feelings because you have the devil, and that's where I said that right here, where I was talking about travel and things like that. If you don't feel right, don't take the risk. I feel like this reading is saying, normally I'm the person who says take a risk, right? But at this time, I would say don't take the risk here with that devil energy. Uh, between the strength card and the five of swords, you have the ace of wands, new beginning, passion, new beginning coming in for you here. Look, it's like you go from 10 wands on your back to just one wand. It's like a passionate new beginning coming in for you. A lot of excitement coming in for you, I feel, as well. Uh, between, in the uh, top row here, you have the two of pentacles. Definitely a choice to be made. <laughs> I, I feel like it's an easy choice. Pick the new path. Uh, plain and simple, Scorpio. Middle row here, you have the sun. Yeah, I feel like you're heading towards happiness. I, I really feel like you need to trust yourself as well. The sun is a combination of the sun and the moon energy. The sun has straight rays and it also has squiggly rays. It represents a combination between the moon and the sun. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying you need to trust your intuition, but I also feel like you need to trust what you can see right in front of you with any decisions that you need to make at this time. So I do feel there's a need to be really honest with yourself uh, with that sun card. And you have the page of pentacles. Yeah, definitely new love coming in for you here could be an earth sign uh, com that's coming in for you but I do feel like some of you could be dealing with new love or you need to move on to new love here yeah like I said I feel like this is just a toxic situation ten of wands devil two of pentacles it's like saying you dealt with something that was just a pain so I feel like you need to let it go this here page of cups devil page of pentacles it's like you're just focusing on a new relationship so let's pull an extra row you have the owl needing to trust your wisdom uh, your own inner wisdom with that card Scorpio so I would definitely, um, you know, like trust your inner voice. I would also, I also feel like saying trust what you can see, you know, with this sun card. The sun, like, I, I mean, I feel like, again, I, I, I'm guilty of this as well, Scorpio. I'm not, you know, picking on you here. Um, but I feel like sometimes we get into relationships, we idealize things, we see things that are right in front of our face that are not good. And, you know, we don't listen to our inner voice. So I feel like you really need to listen to yourself here. And you have these six wands coming in. Uh, again, uh, for this last row, I'm just asking what's going to happen in the future. And uh, you have the six wands, page wands, new beginnings, and the tower. Surprise. Uh, tower is your energy as well here, uh, Scorpio. But I feel like that tower is just saying that you could be rebuilding something. Six of Wands, a lot of a success and a victory. Um, page of Wands, going on adventure in the future. Tower could be travel. So again, if you don't want to travel at this time, totally understand. I would say no. Like for some of you, I do feel like this tower could be like a disappointment from like people and you know people being disappointed in your life. But again, it's your life, and I don't think you should take an unnecessary risk at this time. Uh, for others, I feel like there's a lot of growth coming in for you here with these two cards. And, you know, the Six of Wands is like a card of recognition and achievement, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of getting the word growth on that card here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, something you've worked very hard for here, Can't, uh, Scorpio, Nine of Wands, don't give up, and the Ace of Cups love offer. This is like a surprise love offer uh, coming in for you here in the future. So again, if you're hoping for love, I feel like there could be a surprise love offer coming in for you. That Eight of Pentacles would say focus on yourself. Again, very similar to Cancer's reading. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, I would definitely watch Cancer. But I feel like you've put a lot of work into yourself with that Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands like saying you didn't give up on a situation or you're not going to give up on a situation. It's definitely new love coming in for you here. And the Ace of Cups like a surprising love offer coming in for you. 
Uh, other than that, I feel like the only thing this reading is saying is that you need to trust your intuition. It's like there's something you don't want to do, and I feel like you need to listen to that here. I don't think this is you being stubborn or anything like that. I feel like this is like, not you know, I hesitate to call this a warning. I don't really feel like it's a warning. I feel like it's just saying, listen to your inner voice. If, there's, if, you, if your inner voice is saying, don't take that trip, don't travel right now, don't go to this location, trust your inner voice. I feel like there's a really strong reason to do that. So I would obviously listen to yourself here with this energy. I feel like there's going to be more celebrations in the future and like just good good stuff coming in for you here in the future. So uh, that's that Scorpio. This looks pretty good. Again, could be a little bit like uncomfortable this week because it looks like a transition period with the Eight of Cups, but ultimately walking towards like some happiness and reasons to celebrate. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy your week.